what's going on everybody this is C-Town from TGS um, how you guys doing thought I'd bring you a new game Age of Empires Online uh, just came out a few weeks ago and I've read a lot about it I'm pretty excited to get going on it um, it's a lot different though uh, from what I read I've started a few civilizations already and there's definitely a different aspect so let's get going so I can get you guys introduced um, let's see let's choose a different so yeah basically there's three you can start with looks like Persia's coming soon so you can start with Egypt or Greek um, as you can see you can upgrade now and basically what uh, what I didn't know and they hid pretty well or I just didn't read well enough is that you can uh, purchase real money upgrades to uh, to get so I'm gonna skip through some of these just intro things I'll be telling you what you need to know but uh, you can purchase civilizations uh, if you come into the online store you'll notice okay let's see we want to buy this it's all connected through Windows games so we can purchase for real money and see what this pack gives us so we'll get both the Greek and the Egyptian uh, premium civilizations so they're upgraded and basically from what I've gathered is you get a larger bank uh, you get more workshops so it's things that really can help take you further uh, I did read after I found out about all this that there's items that you can get they're not automatically in your inventory so you still have to work towards them but you have the option to work towards them versus the free um, version I think that's the main difference um, I'll get back to you with another video on more differences as I study more um, feel free to comment and let me know if you know the true differences uh, but anyways let's get started um, so with old AOEs you know the thing was is uh, I picked the British and then I started with five villagers in my city build a house build my barracks get my army together go rush and attack the other team um, this is obviously way different um, well not way different but we got the MMO feel now we got the general chat we got live people chatting um, you got the the quest bar up here so what I'm deducing is that we're gonna be leveling up our civilization just like we would level up a character in WoW or Rift and yeah, from there we'll go hit the max level and then the late game is I think when the PvP comes uh, I don't know if there's gonna be PvE but I do know you can co-op on quests but that's as you level let me take a break these camels are just great <laughs> I've just been laughing the whole time at these but um what was I saying oh yeah uh, so yeah just we're gonna be leveling up uh, and then hopefully get some good PvP late game and that's when it'll be more like the old AoEs so anyways let's uh, get going speak with me get a quest started and over here's where you get this Greek Julius Caesar guy looking um, can hide your you basically just gives you help um, right click to get him out of there uh, so yeah we just accepted a quest and it's kind of nice instead of having to run around you can just come in here um, use this called the quest map and we'll just begin quests um, so basically, yeah, you got the same thing as AoE or any real-time strategy. Left click to select, left drag to select a group. You can control plus one or two, three, whatever to 
group those people under a certain hotkey um, to move. We got right click and attack. We got right click, just like any real time strategy. Looks like we got to kill eight alones. I'm gonna send one of these guys off and find some treasure. Um, but yeah, the graphics are. I just love these. It's got the cartoony. Um, got a great cartoony feel. Uh, got the old AOE dynamics. Good smoke now. Um, got the chrome. Everything's chrome on fire. Uh, all AOEs have had that, so it's good to see that they stuck with it and made it even a little better. So yeah, here's treasure. So we have inventory now in the quest mode. Um, as you see, these can be trade or used for future needs. I'll show you where you trade them. Let's see, we need to go. We 7 out of 8. Okay, he's the last guy. I think there's one more treasure over here somewhere. So, yeah, here's my villagers going back out to work. I think they're repairing these buildings. Getting to plowing. Alright, there we go. So we turn home, got that quest done. I love how fast the splash screen is. So yeah, so as you notice there's two different areas. There's the quest area and then there's the civilization area. And this is the civilization area where we kinda build our civilization up. The quest is where kinda the action Let takes place. Stay sharp. Let's get this done. We got the 700 XP up there. Um, okay. But as I was saying, here's the general store. Um, and you can get to inventory. So, this is where you uh, sell your stuff, and all you do is right click. And here's your gold total up here. I haven't read, I think this is for, I can't go there yet, so, good day, friend. Our road let's will get cross one again. quest done, I think we'll be good then. So let's see, berry patch is found, I think it's right down here, there we go. Uh, fishing spot found. I think it's up there. Cell found. So we gotta get some villagers trained. Food gather. Um, so. If you don't know AoE, so to build things in the action mode here's our little villagers they gather our food and up here's you know where we can uh, see what we have like this is stone and these will obviously go to different things and to train so here's our food to train a villager it's 50 food you can see the little food icon and just left click him and they're doing our, they all you gotta do is click these and right click the resource that you want to get them have them gather we need food for now uh, let's see. gotta find one more uh, uh, let's see. We need more villagers. And also, so when they train, the same thing with like a military a building. 
you can select the building and then right click the resource or like where you want them to go just like any other read time strategy um we got our two fishing spots um berry patch is found let's see where's that other berry patch Up here somewhere Basically the first few quests, this one takes you through on how to gather food and train villagers, uh, find your various places to gather food. I think the next quest goes into how to gather wood and then gold and then stone. And kind of what each of those go to like the wood to train a infantry unit which is in this we got the spearman, it takes food and wood so we gotta obviously keep up on our. Right now, we couldn't trade any of those because we don't have any wood. But. Anyways, yeah, I'd like to hear from you guys. You know, what you guys want from us as far as videos go. I'm trying to get as many games in as possible. Right now, WoW is our biggest attribute. Um, but. I would like to add some other games. Lock da, let's get this last villager train. There we go. So we can return to the city and complete this quest. Let us embrace. Be strong. There we go, we reached level 2. And so, this is. Speak right, with we got a Stay sharp. Here. So, now we get to view the tech tree. So, what I'm gathering is just like in Rift or something, you know, we're leveling up a tune. We got his talent tree. This is kind of like that. So, the quest calls for opening the storehouse. And this storehouse goes through and as you reach your different uh, technology ages just like the old age of empires you, know, you can unlock different things so it looks like this is you know these are you can only reach so far until you have to purchase um, but yeah this is where you come in and you spend your points earned from leveling and um, see which one I take increase gathering rate that's a must in games like this so yeah that's that that's your technology tree uh, big aspect of this game okay, Be strong. let's complete that quest I think this is your mail, you know, you have friends, just like anything else, you can trade resources, and, uh, here's the bank, let's see, there's the online store, and, yeah, I think that's pretty good for now, love this camel, <laughs> um, just to give you a little taste of what it has to offer, I think, uh, I'll get to leveling on one of these civilizations and make sure to record it and come back and give you a little idea of what happens later in the game and as I get a better feel for what the free version versus the pay version has to offer I can let you know about that um, and yeah I think that is good for now please uh, view it on YouTube uh, we'll also have it on the gaming stream.com Facebook page and yeah just come by and say hi <laughs>